Hello Harley Davidson Racing fans. This video is going to be about uh, replacing the clutch, the uh, fibers and the metals in a 1995 Sportster. Um, I believe this is similar through all the Sportsters, um, at least from what this Energy One uh, instructions say 1991 the sports and later so I'm not sure about how new if it's all the way to 2017 or not but um, anyways I'm, I'm putting this extra clutch plate energy one clutch in there it's already has one in there but um, uh, I, I drag race this bike and I think um, one of the metals maybe or some of the metals got warped because I'm feeling a little surging on it when I uh, pull out the clutch so I'm going to replace the metals and the fibers. I had the fibers soaking. Um, I use uh, automatic transmission fluid F um, for this as uh, Energy One recommends that you can do or you can use other sources of lubrication to Harley or synthetic oil or whatever you use in the tranny. But I had them soaking for about 15 minutes and so uh, which they suggest that you do before you put this in. So I'm just going to go through the process of pulling the old clutch out and um, and putting these plates in. Um, in order to do it, you you I have a Energy One um, clutch spring compression tool, which is right here that you need in order to get the clip off and compress the spring on the the clutch basket. Um, uh, this bike also has the Energy One 25% um, increased strength clutch spring in it. So I've already taken uh, some of the side cover screws off and uh, took the side cover off once. So uh, it's going to be easier for me to start here. So let's pull the side cover off and show you what we got. <coughs> I've taken uh, the release mechanism off from here and in order to use this uh, this is the uh, spring right here it's it's a convex concave type situation that pushes on the clutch basket and this is the energy one 25 percent more so in order to use this tool you got to leave or thread this uh, piece onto the shaft Other places make this tool too, besides Energy One. Harley has one that's similar, but you do, it's required, you have to have this tool in order to get this clip off from this um, clutch. So. You hear it, and then you tighten down the spring. I'm pushing the spring in. So I releases the tension on the on this clip here. There's a clip here that sits into these aluminum fingers. Um, now you want to be careful because these lumen, aluminum fingers that hold that clip in can be delicate and you don't want to break them off when you're removing this clip or when you're putting it back in. So you you want to be careful. I've heard of guys, I've never done it, but I've heard of guys that have uh, broken these fingers off and then you end up with a problem you have to so I'm just gonna try to loosen the clip up here and see if I can get it started out maybe I don't have a big, uh, a big ring remover, so I'm just going to try to do it with a screwdriver, which you can do. <clears throat> so I got it out a couple of the fingers there. Once you get it out of the couple of the fingers, it comes out careful, but I go around and make sure 
so you don't want to break those little fingers off. And after you get the clip out, there's a clip retaining ring in there too, I'll show it to you. It needs to be in there when you go to put it in. When you go to put it back in, it needs to be on the outside, so you got to remember that piece. So after they come out, then you can pull the spring off. <clears throat> and there's the main pressure plate line. So let me set this aside. I got a box here when I'm working. I usually put my parts all in a box. So now we've uh, has have access to the uh, to the plates and the fiber. So and as I say, I already had this energy one extra plate clutch in there. So I'm just gonna start removing it. There's one of the fibers. Fiber looks good. Maybe I am uh, <clears throat> wasn't in need of this by the looks of that fiber, but as I'm looking at this plate, um, I'm noticing some, some bluing on it. Not real bad, but uh, some. That fiber looks good. I don't see the plate. It's usually the uh, the metal plates that will get hot, and I, I'm seeing some possible spots on there. Uh, the plates start to get funny with uh, extreme like drag racing use. It looks like I could probably use those fibers again if I wanted to. They didn't look long. Yeah. yeah, that plate has some bluing on it. Yeah, not bad, but I want the bike to operate as good as possible. The fiber looks good. That plate certainly has some bluing. Fiber looks a little worn, uh, but it probably still had life left in it. Plates worn, blued some. Yeah, it's, it's been through some heat. That one's been through some heat too, so compared to the new ones, here's a new one. Well, not real bad, but so um, hard to say if that was that lunging problem I was feeling, if that's where it was coming from or not. It could have been something else. But uh, because as I got in there and looked at everything, it didn't look real bad. But I'm going to put the new set in anyways and just think about that old set. If anything, I'll buy some new plates for that set and use the fibers again. I'll get a hold of Energy One. So now, as I say, I, uh, I soak these old, these new fibers in. Since the back part of this basket, uh, the plate, it, it, it's metal, you start with a fiber. Fiber. And then a steel when you're reassembling. Take another fiber.
Entendeu? Fiber. Steel. Fiber. Steel. This energy one has one extra plate and fiber. Give it a little more area. Fiber. Steel. And when we end up at the end, we should end up with a fiber on the outside to push against the pressure plate. Steel. Steel. Fiber it just barely fits in there on the lip. There we go. So that's the way we do that. Now um, we would put the uh, pressure plate and the spring back in. So it just fits over these uh, these arms, fingers that come out matter really where you are, which finger goes where on the plate, just put them in there, yep, retain a little pressure on there, make sure the plate's in there, and then you want to put the, uh, there's a, a, a ring seating collar that goes in there, that, uh, that pushes up against that uh, clip ring after you get it in there. You want to make sure that's in there. And then, like the way I took it out. Now, this, I like to have this space if I can. It doesn't really fit between um, one of those fingers, but I, I try to have it open between a finger so um, all of the, the ring is engaged. So I started by putting that uh, the ring in one of the fingers and then I just kind of go around and make sure or try to push it in the in the slot in the finger I'm going to screw that in here and just kind of work around try to get it in there There we go, it went in. I heard it click. All the time though when I put a uh, when I put any type of a retaining ring in, I always try to push them like I did right there to make sure that they're in there good. And I go around and take a good look at it to make sure it's seated in all the fingers well, which it is. So and I can take my 9 16 wrench and my 3 quarter and back this nut off the spring. And the pressure plate will then push up against those fibers and models. I can get that loose. I can take this compressor, spring compressor, back off. So that's the main part of, uh, of putting the, uh, the springs, the energy one spring. Um, clutch. And, uh, 1995 sports drawn out. I'm going to put the gasket back on. 
And then in order to put the side cover back on, I, uh, I just start the shift shaft in there a little bit. And then you got to go out and push in the, uh, the primary chain so it doesn't, uh, so you can get it, the, the pad started. There we go. It got started. And the gasket, you got to make it, make sure it's on the locating pins. And it's good, and I'm good. So then you just kind of ease it in, make sure it fits in those locating pins, and there we go. I think I'm going to spare you putting the rest of it back on. It's just basic mechanics. So uh, there we go. I'm going to post this video on YouTube. Hope that helps some of you get a little idea about what you need to do to put a clutch, uh, Energy One clutch, in a 1995 and above Sportster. So, um, and it's uh, oh, it's 1991 and later Sportster. It says again. I'll show you the package. So thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate it. Good luck with your projects.